Today we're going to learn how to place t a picture behind a text box in Photoshop Creative Cloud. The first thing I will do is go to File and New. I'm going to be creating a new document. In this case, I want to use a document that has a width of 6 inches and a height of 4 inches. And then I will click OK. My next step is going to be to go ahead and load the pictures I want to use behind each letter. To do that, I will go up here to File and Open. Now, it always helps at this point if you have your pictures in the same folder. So, for example, I have all three of my beach pictures. Then I can do the shortcut Control-A to highlight all of them and click Open. Now, all three of those images are here. I'm going to go back to my original document here. And now I want to add a text box. So I'm going to click on the text icon and horizontal text tool right here. Okay. And I'm going to use the word um, S, and I don't want any caps, so I'm going to use S U N. Now at this point, obviously this is not the right size. I'm going to highlight the text. I'm going to change the font size to about 200. I also want to make sure that I'm using a really good thick font that will be easy to read. Okay, remember that we're going to be putting text behind here. Um, so we want that to kind of be as bold and thick as we can. I can go back up here to the left to the move tool and adjust my picture a little bit. Um, the little grids may come on depending on how you have your screen set up. So you can help make sure you have this exactly in the middle. Next, I'm going to be ready to go ahead and put the pictures behind there. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to my first picture, Beach. I'm going to do Control-A for all, Control-C to copy. I'm going to go back to my text document and do Control-V to paste. Now I have my image here. Okay. Now I need to resize my image a little bit to cover up all of the S. I'm going to hold the I'm going to do Control T for the Edit Free Transform. Now I can adjust the size of the picture a little bit. You may want to hold the Control key down so that way you can make sure that you maintain the aspect ratio. Okay. Then I'm going to move. Then I'm going to go up here and click the green check mark to make sure that is applied. I'm going to go to the very far right side where it says Layer. Okay. I'm going to double click Layer One and rename it S because that's going to be my S letter. And then I'm going to right click and just click Create Clipping Mask and that's it. I can go back over here if I wanted to and maybe even resize my picture a little bit more. Um, and I can do that by going back to Control T. So maybe I want to have it where I can see a little bit more of the starfish um, in the top or the bottom. Okay, so again, so you can, um, once you've got your picture there, you can go back and edit it a little bit if you want to. And once you have that, apply the green check mark. So let's review that again for the second letter. I'm going to go up here to Beach 3, which is my second image. Control A, Control C to copy. I'm going to go back over to my original document and Control V to paste. Same thing, I'm going to go to Control T um, to the edit, and I can resize my picture like so. Now, if I look here, I can see up here at the very top, it has the width and the height, but in percentages, and I want to see that in inches. To change, all I have to do is right click inside there and change that to inches. So, again, here's my width. I'm going to right click and then the drop down, select inches. So now I can see that my picture is about 1.6 inches by 1.6 inches. And we'll come back to that in a minute. I'm gonna click the check mark at the top. I'm gonna to go over here to where it says layer one. Let me double click layer one and rename it U, because that's the letter U. Click off, and then I'm gonna click on the letter again. Right click and do create clipping mask and my umbrella and pictures look great there. Now we're gonna go back and do letter N. So again, we've got our beach. Control A for all, Control C to copy. Back here, 
and control V to paste. Um, another thing we could do up here is when we do control T for the edit free transform, it already has up here our height and our width. Okay, so maybe I know that I want this to go ahead and be about two inches by two inches. So I could go ahead and type in here two inches by two inches. So that way I can go ahead and kind of start it with the exact size that I need and then just do a little bit of editing layer. I'm going to click the check mark to apply that. Go back over here to layer one. I'm going to rename that in. I'm going to go back, right click, and do create clipping mask. So again, I can click back over here if I wanted to adjust that just a little bit. Okay, so now I have S U N and I have all of those there. But it needs a little bit of something else to help it pop. So I'm going to go back to my text layer, highlight my letters. And now I'm going to go up to layer and layer style. In this case, I want to add an outline around the letters and Photoshop calls that a stroke. So from layer style, I'm going to select stroke. Okay. And if you're not quite sure what size stroke you need, you can just apply this kind of very slowly and see how it would look between maybe like a two, a three, a four, or even more. I think about a three or four would be okay. Um, at this point, if you wanted to, you could also double click the color if you wanted to. If you wanted to have a different color, um, maybe you want to have an outline with maybe this shade of yellow, and you could do okay. Um, at this point, you could also do any other inner glows, out of glow, outer glows. Um, you could do a drop shadow if you wanted to. Um, our last thing to do is to save our document. So we're going to do file save as and I'm just going to call this sun text fill and click save. Now at this point it is still a Photoshop document and that's in Adobe's native language. Now I may want to go ahead and export it as a JPEG. So I'm going to do file save as and now I'm going to change it to a JPEG so that way it can be seen with any computer and any software program. Click save and that is it. This is another quick Southerly tutorial on Photoshop.